Hello YouTube, my name is Natero and today I want to give you guys a video called Project Cars Online Gladiators. Now I want to talk about this a little bit because this is a very frustrating thing for me. As you see me jump this start, that was an accident, I ended up having this whole ordeal. You'll hear me ranting about that, which was stupid on my part, I was yelling at the game, blah blah blah. No big deal. And I was just a little bit frustrated venting because the main reason of why I was mad. This race started out with 16 people and only 2 people finished this race. Now, gr granted, I finished second in a very close finish because of my penalty. I would have won the race if it wasn't for the penalty, but eh, you lose some, you win some. And that's on the same topic. Why do you guys quit? I'm not saying you specifically, but why do people quit this game when they're not winning? What is that all about? You don't see that in Call of Duty. You don't really see that in Battle... Well, actually, I lied. You do see that in Battlefield. Now, I'm not supposed to have my mic on here. I left it on by mistake. I thought I had it off. Which, oh well, you guys can hear me ranting in the background while I talk about this. But, what is the point of quitting? I, I, don't, I don't understand. I rant at these type of things a lot because it really is stupid. I mean, quitting a match is more annoying than those people that wreck. It really is. Because the people that wreck, it doesn't exactly end, I mean, it does end your day, but it doesn't end it the way quitting a match does. It hurts your stats, and you would think people don't want that showing up in their stats by quitting a match but they still do it. I mean, not, now I hope everyone watching this video isn't a quitter because it really is annoying. I, I can't tell you how many times I've watched rooms just leave because whatever, I don't know. I'm, I'm really frustrated by this. I wish you guys would stop, again, not referring to people watching this video if you don't, just saying in general, the community in general will stop just quitting matches to quit matches. And finish them out. Yeah, it sucks. You finished last. It's not the greatest thing in the world. But the thing is, is that's a part of racing. That's a part of life. That is racing. Sorry you can't win every race, but that is a part of racing. Or do I have the glitch? The only time I ever quit... Yeah, see, as you heard me just say, with the glitch. The only time I ever quit is if I have to go somewhere and I wasn't paying attention to time. Or something of like that. Or... I can't get out of the pits, as we all know that glitch where you're stuck in the pits. Someone has that issue in this match, he was, it was going to be three cars to the finish, but it pulled that on him and he couldn't get out. So uh, that I understand. But uh, you can hear me mumbling in the background, I was just mumbling to myself because I can. And I'm also apologizing about my mic, I know I don't pronounce my words the greatest with this, and I know, I mean I know I don't pronounce them the greatest. But this game, or this mic, really, really makes it sound like I'm hardly saying a word in these videos sometimes. Videos. Excuse me. Speaking of that. Like in my uh, Tropico 5 game, uh, videos, you can hear me like rolling my words a lot, even though I don't really do it that much. I mean, I do, but not that bad. So I don't know. So I don't know. But, um, back on the subject of people quitting. I'm all over the place today. I'm not using a script or anything like that today, because why not? The just a random video but uh yeah that's just frustrating to me in every way so the reason the video is called online gladiators is for the people that stick it out and finish races to the end that, that's really rare to see nowadays everyone just backs out for whatever i mean i just like again again i understand yeah you hear me ranting again the uh you guys can i mean i understand when people quit because of this or that about the game screwing you over in the sense that you know the penalty you get stuck that gives you a glitch on pit road or, you know I mean I understand those things it's the things where there's no reason to quit where you're running seventh you just are running seventh you do three laps oh I'm running seventh bye bye I guess that's a great advantage for the guy in last if you're in last don't quit especially because you will get second I'm sure second or third because everyone else quit and I think what it really comes down to is a lot of people are bored with the racing or something. I don't know. All I can say is it's part of racing. So without, I'm done with my ranting for today. I'll, let, I'll see you guys at the end of this video. Thank you so much for listening this far. And I'll see you guys near the end. So my front end is plowing like crazy. So I've changed the tire pressures now. It's all screwed up. I wasn't expecting that. I honestly was not expecting a mandatory pit stop. I didn't, I didn't see it in the settings of the room, so... My, my own fault on that, but not going the way I wanted to right now. Got a great setup for here with the tire pressure, right? And I also need to adjust my bump stops, I think, because it's still slamming. Woo! What a save!
What's, what's, what's really annoying about this game, honestly, is we had a room full of 16 people, but everyone quit down to six cars. Honestly, if you play this game and you quit every race just about because you're not doing good or whatever, or you get wrecked out, that's really immature in my, in my opinion. I can understand if you have to go or something like that, no big deal. But if you're just quitting because to quit, I, I don't like that whatsoever. I feel that's really stupid. I have a bunch of hate comments, but you know what? It's true. I was new. English there. I mean, you're here to race. It's not like Call of Duty, or it's kind of like Call of Duty, actually, I'm going to say. It's because in Call of Duty, you don't quit. Because you can get killed. And if you're finishing last, uh, yeah, it sucks, but oh well. That's racing. So I guess my real advice would be don't quit lobbies just because you're looking. Just finish them out. That's a request for me. Because... We had 16 people of really good drivers. There was not one of them was, well, there was one, but we kicked them. Trolling. And some are, when I say some are good, we've all had our shares and spins, so I'm not gonna say we're like, we're amazing, but that's pretty impressive that you have 16 drivers without a troll in there. But they just leave because they're losing. I hate that, I really do. Finish the frickin' race. I feel pretty good right now. I'm fifth out of 16 cars. I always tell myself that. Oh, uh, it's like, oh, I'm last place. Oh, well, everyone else quit, so technically I'm fourth of seven amount of cars. I aren't wearing too bad other than that spin. But, uh... So what'd you guys think of E3? I'm mean, gonna actually have a video after Rainbow Six about E3 and what I thought about it. I thought E3 was great this year. I thought Sony did the best. I, I say Microsoft didn't do so hot. Uh, I think the best three were EA. EA plays. Ubisoft's and then Sony's. They've had the best three. I was a little bit dis disappointed on GT Sport getting like a th three to four second. Well, I was more than that, but a little, a very short, short thing at the end. Unless I missed it, I watched the entire stream, but I only saw the end there. And when they were doing all the games and they showed GT Sport off, but I didn't see a single trailer for GT Sport or anything like that. Kind of disappointing. I was really hoping to see that there. But Battlefield 1 looks amazing. I've played all their other ones. And I can't wait to play that. It looks really good. Um, really excited about the Underground DLC, but really Ubisoft, that's a pile of bull that you're making PlayStation users wait till August 2nd. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's all, I don't even know how many months it is. I think it's like a month and a week or something stupid. That's stupid. I guess, uh, I guess Microsoft's still trying to find something to replace Call of Duty in a month. Please don't pick Tom Clancy. I love those games. I've been playing those for a long time. I don't want them to be like that. Uh, Rainbow Six. I didn't see him too much for Rainbow Six. And Ghost Recon Wildlands looks really good. I can't wait to see that in action. Um, I can't wait to get that action. That game's going to look amazing. And then Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is a big disappointment this year. My gosh, it looked horrible. It didn't even look good. It, like, sorry, Infinite Infinity War. Oh, I always get those two mixed up. I love you. You guys do, always do make great games, but this year, you guys ain't gonna do it. <laughs> no, I know they're not gonna watch this video. I'm just saying, but uh, it doesn't look good. I, I don't even seem. I'm not even remotely interested interested in that game. But COD 4 remastered. Yeah, I am. But the only reason I pre-ordered the game was to get COD 4, and that looked really good with the graphics. I mean, I can't wait to play that game. It looks so good. Sorry about if it sounds like I have like a heavy lisp or something. I'm trying to figure that out with my mic. It's not correct. It's like it roll, uh, rounds off all my words. I mean, I do have a bit of a thing where I don't pronounce every word correct. But it's not every word, if you know what I mean. It's weird. Wow. Well, now I'm second because in must have been quit. Guess the race was too long for their liking. I wonder if he's made his pit stop yet. We can win this race. That'd be great. Mainly because everyone quit, but still. Yeah, this the title of this video really does stand. Make it right is uh, 
online monsters. Come on, guys. This is ridiculous. Just don't leave. Why do you guys gotta leave? Yeah, you know, you don't see that in Call of Duty. You don't see that. Well, I guess you do see that in Battlefield. Never mind. But, uh, Gran Turismo hardly had that. Why do you guys gotta come out here and just leave because you're not doing good? I mean, that's part of racing. Just because you're sucking at the moment, I'm not gonna say you suck. If you're sucking at the moment, it doesn't mean anything. Also, a tip, if you, uh, even if you're last, you're not gonna finish last, just stay on the racetrack, someone's gonna eventually quit, because I can't really change too much. Not much nothing I can say to make you guys stop or change anything. Catching this guy. I'll be last to do it. This is one of my favorite racetracks in the game. I love Mazda. He pulls away down the straightaways, though, is this Corvette? Not very good on the straightaways. Beautiful corner. Two out of two. Well, I guess that other guy was glitched. I, I can't blame him there. He was glitched. I stuck on pit road. Well, I'm off. He'd been there for about a lap or two. That I, that I don't mind. If you get glitched, that, that's understandable because now you can't literally do anything for the next 10 minutes. Ooh, he's very slow. Not gonna... I catch him. It's just that straight away, man. Ooh, that was weird. Lock up the brakes. Slid. That's not what I needed right now. I need to catch this guy. Ooh, I got a really good takeoff out of that corner. Want to pop that corner? Oh, that was beautiful. I'm gonna try backing up the corners. Okay, so I got it down to four seconds now. It's better than what it was. These straightaways, man, he just kills me because this car's got no straightaway speed, but I think I can catch him by... Not this corner, you can't do it in this corner, but backing up my corners a little bit. Man, why am I tire sliding all of a sudden? I got out of that corner pretty good, though. Got out of it, but not very good. That was a rough corner. There we go. That was a nice pull-up off the corner. I like that one. Yeah, it turned faster. That's what I needed. That's beautiful. Put that. Straight out. Got down to three seconds. Got one lap to make it up. so much better. I could have had a lot of time gained, but I screwed up a lot of those last few corners there. I'm going to get the run off this corner. No, I didn't get a very good launch. I was going to try and take it wide and cut down, but that didn't work. I use the grass a lot because I drive a lot of NASCARs, and that's kind of what you got to do to turn these those things, and you got to clip the corners to get the rumble strips. With these cars, that doesn't work very well. I need to learn that. He screwed up big time. That's a close one. I'm getting to him. I don't think I'm going to get to him in time unless he screws this corner up big time. Okay, I didn't lose any time. Now that's an important thing. 
screwed up. Uh, we're not gonna catch him in time, but we got up to him. That's pretty good. That was a pretty good finish. Starts with that little flip out my thing stuff.